Hello everyone, the chart guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for some time now and after surveying hundreds of traders, we narrowed down what the most sought after information was and we created this course entry and exit strategies. It's over five hours in length and we go over different signals that the charts tell us for when to buy and when to sell. If you are the kind of trader that is still looking at charts and not realizing what it is trying to tell you, still feeling a little bit overwhelmed, this course is designed to alleviate that uncertainty. So the course outline, we're going to go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, recognizing the different indicators signaling bullish and bearish entries, being able to identify support and resistance levels, poor entries where traders make mistakes and how to avoid them, exit target knowing where to sell your positions, where to place stop losses to keep those losses minimal, my personal preparations, how I get ready for the trading day, and then piecing it all together, looking back at everything we just learned and applying it to the real world. As a bonus, we'll also look at an intro to finding entries and exits with patterns, and you'll recognize these patterns on all kinds of time frames throughout the stock world, so certainly beneficial to be able to trade off of those as well. So we hope you will check out this course, and again, we feel it will build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge that experience will build off of and send you on the right direction to making more profitable trades. Looking in at Facebook daily, weekly, shorter term time frame. So we closed just under the 200 day moving average resistance. So the bulls got over that middle Bollinger Band convincingly for the first time in a long time, a month, a little bit over a month. But we have this 200 day moving average resistance right here, and that is rejecting the price. So the bounce is still underway, but what we have now is showing Facebook very clearly as one of the laggards with regards to bullish action in the group of stocks that I call the election dumpers. And if you look at Apple and Google, they have dumped, they bounced, they formed their higher low, and they already have a higher high. That would require Facebook being over 122.98. So you can see we're still pretty much $3 away from that level, which is fairly significant considering Google and Apple are very clearly over the bounce high already. So Facebook does stand out as one of the weaker names that is trying to bounce, but we did see some strength this week, and we need to see a break of 122.98 to prove the bulls are in control. Right now we have this tightening range where we have our low, high of the bounce, higher low, and currently a lower high, and we'll see if we see a, a short-term top, and then the range tighten continuously from there into next week. So resistance is 122.10, and then 122.98 if we can get over this 200-day moving average. Weekly time frame, the bulls are really, really grateful to regain that 50-week moving average because it did hold as support for about three, four years. And after being lost last week, quickly recovering that level is a good sign. But again, we need to see a break of 122.98. These exponential resistances are still rejecting the price. This eight period, or it's actually the four period. Nope, I take that back. It is the eight period, the red is rejecting the past two weeks and we didn't even touch it this week so that's going to be a resistance level to watch next week as well that will be down in the mid 120s checking in on the shorter term action bulls were in control right out of the gate nice lower wick on the first candlestick and continuation to the upside then we pulled back and formed a lower high pull back towards the low of the day we did hold the low of the day there wasn't much trading opportunity on the day as a whole in terms of day trading and that's because there was a, a lack of volume in the S&P 500. And pretty much just after the morning, after the first two hours, it was a sideways day. And you can see that here on Facebook. Tightening range that did favor the bulls at the end of the day. Nice bull volume in the last 10, 15 minutes. And we did hold the key moving average supports on the five minute, the 100 and 200 period all day. So we did end on a fairly strong note, all things considered. And we look at the hourly time frame. We do have all moving averages as support convincingly. For the first time in a, a while here, let's look back at the past five days, and we can see that we had that 200 period, 200 hour support for a few candlesticks, but then lost it. But now we are well above all moving average supports, and we'll see if the bulls can keep up this momentum into Monday and close above the 200 day moving average. I'd say that was the goal for the bulls on Monday, get above that 200 day and be looking up at 122.98 as the goal for the bulls to break. So we'll see how it plays out. I appreciate you watching. Have a great rest of your weekend.